uh, 15 years ago when we first launched RFD TV, and two years ago when we uh, added rural radio, we've always had two main goals. Uh, one was to serve the needs and interests of rural America. And the second goal was to reconnect city with country again. Uh, that's why that we picked the name RFD TV. It was 120 years ago in 1896 uh, that mail was first delivered uh, to rural America through RFD addresses. It was the first time that city folks and country people could really communicate. So uh, that's why we, we uh, adopted this, this name here uh, uh, to start with. But in the 15 years that we've been doing this, uh, I've never been more excited uh, that we're really taking a step, a big step toward reconnecting city and country again than with this rural town hall. Uh, we've wanted to do this for a long time in the past, uh, in the 2004, the 2008, and the 2012 elections, kind of passed us by, and, and it was really disappointing that we were not uh, involved. Uh, we, quite frankly, we didn't have the news division then um, or the assets to, to really do this the way we wanted to do that. Uh, we now have both. Uh, we have got a great uh, news division headed up by uh, Gary Kanofsky, uh, uh, that's that's producing six hours of news a day, both business and uh, rural news, rural weather, uh, uh, Western sports, and um, and fortunately, because uh, uh, we're starting to get some some pretty good support from uh, companies around the the country, especially rural and agricultural companies, we've got the assets to do it. We've and we've also got great cable partners. Uh, uh, Mediacom was the first one to put us on in 2002. Um, we get a small fee from these cable companies, and, and we've always reinvested in, into, our, into our programming. So uh, uh, the ability to go into Iowa now, the, the idea to give each presidential candidate one hour uh, to focus only on rural and agricultural issues. And I want to stress that's exactly what the hour is going to be. We're not going to, to ask any of the questions or any of the topics that, that uh, the urban media focuses on. Uh, uh, we really want to bring and raise the level of understanding and awareness of rural issues and quite frankly make it a two-way conversation with each and every candidate. Uh, some of them might be not be as familiar uh, with rural or agriculture issues as they might be. Hopefully a program like this is going to help uh, light a fire and, and, uh, and create some understanding and again <clears throat> we're in the business to build the bridge uh, between urban and rural America not to put up uh, a wall. So uh, these are going to be very positive, very straightforward uh, uh, shows. Uh, we've, we've gotten uh, great feedback from both the Republican and the Democratic uh, National Committees. Uh, I think they feel that it's, I don't want to speak for them, but it appears that they really are embracing the ability to uh, address rural and agricultural issues only, uh, especially in states like Iowa. Uh, where we've got di great distribution through Mediacom, uh, plus our Dish and Direct uh, uh, TV folks. People out in the country where are going to be watching these shows. Uh, uh, the other thing I want to state is that it's not going to be RFD TV or Rural Radio asking all the questions. Uh, we are really going to involve all of the rural associations, all of the ag uh, organizations out there, FFA, 4-H, the American Farm Bureau, the Corn Growers Association, the Wheat Growers, the, the Cattlemen, the Pork Producers, uh, the Sheep Council. Uh, uh, it's not only, these are not only programs for the, the state of Iowa, but the, the, you, rural America is united, even though they might raise different, have different, uh, di different crops uh, or have different livestock. A lot of the issues uh, are the same, rural education, rural health care, uh, rural development. Uh, prices for commodities, water rights now. You've got no water in California. You've got too much water in Texas and Oklahoma and, and, and Arkansas. These are uh, things that the public needs to be aware of and, uh, and uh, help educate these, uh, the decision makers and the lawmakers uh, uh, going forward. There's going to be 9 billion people in this, in this uh, world to feed in the year 2050. Uh, farmers and ranchers are going to have to do it with less and less land that are being that's being gobbled up uh, for with urban sprawl, with new developments, with strip malls, and uh, so it's going to take a united front with with urban and rural America working together on this. And 
and Washington, D.C. So uh, Rural Town Hall <clears throat> is, uh, is just the start. Our news each day, uh, in addition to these shows, is going to be focused on, on politics. Uh, our little slogan, Rural America Votes, is really true. Rural Americans vote in big numbers, in big percentages. And each and day, every day, we've got a Washington, D.C. bureau now with, uh, with Janet Adkinson uh, heading it up. Uh, she'll be working the Hill and, and the other uh, uh, opportunities that are in Washington, D.C. to really keep the focus on rural issues uh, in this upcoming uh, political season. So I uh, really appreciate the great turnout here today. Uh, like I said, I've never been more excited to do something <clears throat> at uh, RFD TV. Uh, and at Rural Radio, and, and uh, uh, this is going to be something special and, and benefit everybody. So thank you for being here for this announcement.